Hello everyone, and we're back with more Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Baselift, yeah. <laughs> Adrian Andrews in immediately. What now? With the way this is going, Engard will be found innocent. This may be our last chance to save Maya. Yeah. Yeah, what exactly uh, do you want? I'm a bit confused. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Because you sounded yeah. happy that he would be found innocent, but you want to save Maya. Yeah. I mean, I I wish they would expand on the emotional sense of that, because honestly, it makes sense that she'd want the dude to found, be found guilty and save Maya, but she's not really expressing it in that way. She's just like, man, we're gonna... Yeah, like, no matter what you do, Phoenix, I'm just gonna be pissed. <laughs> it's like, you're saving him? Fuck you. You're losing a case? Fuck you. Yeah, exactly. Like, thanks, Maya. You just, uh, Mia, you're just annoying me right now. Yeah. Yeah, but... But Edgeworth is right. The killer is lying. And Endard, my client. I know he's guilty. Can you I live with myself if I win this? If, like, Endgard had actually joked, and he wasn't actually the killer, but... <laughs> That would be pretty intense. He was just like, oh, Phoenix is never uh, gonna believe such a silly lie. I'm just gonna make the lie up. Uh, I'm actually the killer. That's, that scar we saw is like fake. <laughs> yeah, he tripped and like fell on a razor blade. Yeah. Who would have believed that the prosecution's own witness would absolve the defendant? Dear Honor, the prosecution requests permission to further question the witness. Shady the killer is certainly lying under O's. Mm. And that is unheard of. Wow. It wasn't me. Listen, everyone, please. That testimony just now was all one big lie. Miss Andrews. Suicide note may have been a fake, but that man, Matt, he's the one he's the reason Celeste died. And Juan's death, it was all because he got pulled into Matt's twisted world. In our fairness, again, I mean, maybe they're gonna start this, but he did write the fake suicide note. He's not innocent. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that testimony just now, you have to believe me, was a horrible, horrible lie. Why, Mr. D. Killer himself has testified. His name to you is his client. Yes, the killer testified. <laughs> that is yeah. perfectly unquestionable evidence. Yeah, sure. No, that's not true. Also, there's quite a bit of evidence that points to you. The knife in the button, donning the Nicol Samurai's costume. But that's... that's... You would have a motive. We all know that Miss Celeste impacts or does a large part of your life. You wanted to follow her into committing suicide, and you wanted revenge against the two who hurt her. I would say I have plenty of reasons to want them both dead. I... You know, no. actually, that actually makes sense. Yeah, that would That, that was a pretty good conclusion, Josh. <laughs> yeah, I... I Let's just go with that. I don't care who the fuck the killer is. Yeah. These are all evil people. Exactly. Mr. I mean, Wright. even if she wasn't going to do that, she was still going to ruin the guy's life on a fake suicide note that I assume she knew was fake. Yeah. You... You know the truth. Tell them. Tell them the real story, who the real killer is. Tell them. Please, help me. Okay, let's tell them. Let's say it's Henry and Andrews. It's just, yes. Can I have twice in a minute? Yeah. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? I believe we've reached the end of this trial. Therefore, I ask the defense for any final words or opinions. Have Since to when decide. did you do that? I, I know, usually he's like, I don't give a shit what you have to say, defense, I'm gonna declare guilty. I don't got time for this shit. Take the not guilty verdict and say Maya, or do I throw this chance away and wait for Gumshoe's new evidence? What am I supposed to do? Take the not guilty verdict, I don't give a <laughs> shit about these guys. Alright, let's see um, what, what happens when we just request the verdict. Your Honor, the defense will make a request. It's no use. I can't. Feels like I've lost my voice. Jeez. <laughs> this Phoenix is like the element of not being able to be a troll. I don't know. Uh, Phoenix, right. The element of not being able to, to lie, I guess. 
Phoenix. But he's, he can lie, he just can't lie about <laughs> specific things. He, he, he's a very lawful. Phoenix Wright, he's the element of the law. <laughs> I can't do it, Mia. I can't accept a not guilty. You. You. Goddamn paladin. I know. Lawful good. <laughs> exactly. You are a lawyer. I know. But. But Matt Engard is a killer. A murderer. I can't. Now he can hear you, Phoenix. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I can't let him get away with this. I can't let someone else take the fall. I let Miss Andrews be convicted, but I'm no better than Engard. Oh, and... you know, Edge was, and all those other people. <laughs> yeah, I know. Everyone we fight against. And I don't want to admit it. I have to face that fact. That is because of Edgeworth that I now know the real truth. Because he taught us that somehow. Could have gotten Engard convicted so many times over. No, he tried yeah. to he tried to do it's that like constantly. Really hard. Yeah. But he never took single one of those chances. I think you're giving him too much credit, Phoenix. I didn't see it I know that's what the writers <laughs> wanted to imply, but it never felt that way. Right. Yeah. Oh, it's this guy was having a mental breakdown and the guy didn't say the name of the, your client. Right, exactly. He took the chance and ran with it, and it just didn't work for him. Yeah, he's taken every chance so far. Take this verdict right now. I'd be betraying his trust. His trust? Never thought about it until now. I... I trust him? Because I really shouldn't. He did say he was dead, and then he wasn't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes, you do. Get out of my brain! <laughs> yes, yeah, seriously. Mr. Wright, your opinion, please. The fence requests that we be allowed to further question Mr. DeKiller. Uh, am I hearing you correctly, Mr. Wright? Dutch, why did you ask me if you don't want to hear my opinion? <laughs> I know, seriously. But... Thank <laughs> yeah, keep going. But, but, that witness has cleared your client through his testimony. Your job here is done. I'm not done yet. To see through this witness's lies and find the truth. That is my job, your honor. Yeah, we can stay K Maya right now. <laughs> yeah. Like, if I was shouting to kill, I'd be like, fuck you, bam. <laughs> Yeah, you'd think, he'd, you'd think he'd threaten that. There's still more evidence to look at. And I'm sure that once those pieces arrive here in this very courtroom, a miracle will occur. <laughs> is that how, is that how uh, court works, Phoenix? Alright. Very well, the trial will continue. Mr. Edgeworth, please reestablish connection with Mr. DeKiller. Right away, Your Honor. You know, it'd be really funny if we, like, reestablished. It's kind of messed up because we already did, but it'd be funny if we reestablished the connection and we just hear, like, the police raid. <laughs> police just, like, knocking the guy over. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, has the verdict been reached? Before that, we would like to talk with you a little more. About. All you needed for me was the name of a client. What else could you want for me? Well, actually, we would like to hear everything you know about this case. That is, how things are usually done. What is he talking about? Usually done. But, what shall we have him testify about now? Mr. The Killer, if you don't mind, please testify about your client in more detail. You legal people and your procedures. Is it any wonder no one likes to go to court? Well, I mean, yeah. I think most people don't like to go to court because they're fucking guilty. Uh. As I've already stated quite a few times, Adrian Andrews is my client. However, wait, can you say it like once? Yeah. One thing I simply cannot overlook is tampering with the scene of the crime. My client did it to frame another for the crime. By pretending to be the first person to discover the body and enter the scene. 
Adrian Andrews already knew from the very beginning that Drew and Kurita was dead. But even more appalling is the creation and planting of the knife and button. Button knife. <laughs> oh no. It's like it very button knife is the assassin version of button mesh. <laughs> That act, that, that act is what I was referring to when I said my client had broken the rules. Mm. So would he really be ever from this side breaking the rules? I wonder. Because I That's, mean this is a lie, but at yeah. the same time, would he? I'm kind of curious about that myself. I'm kind of curious if his client asked him if he'd frame someone else, because honestly, I think that would make a lot more sense than leaving his business card. I mean... But I mean, maybe if he's such an honor guy, he wouldn't. Like, maybe that's why he leaves his business card so that no one else gets yeah, same for it. That seems to be the implication, though. See, he's a good guy. I guess. He's though, die, then again, if he's if he's an assassin, though, that's still stupid because this trial is proceeding as though we're looking for the client, which is still something they would do. So, yeah, whatever. The most unexpected turn of events for the, um, fifth time now. However, this time, everything has finally been revealed. Didn't he just... That's basically what he told us last time. Just a second, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth. Still has a cross-examination to do. And by that, he means we have the cross-examination to do. <laughs> but you don't need to question testimony like this. Do you, Mr. Wright? Your Honor, the defense will question the witness. As if I have a choice here. Huh? Why? What this witness has said is nothing but beneficial to the defense's case. If you scrutinize the testimony, then... Like, at this point, wouldn't the judge just, like, call this case off? Because it's <laughs> obvious that Phoenix... Like, if not what is actually going on... Like, like what it looks like almost is that Phoenix is being threatened by Edgeworth. Yeah. Like that's what I would think if I was a judge. That there's like that like Edge was kidnapped Maya and is sweating Phoenix is <laughs> like gets his at gunpoint. Because that's uh, what it looks like. You know, it kind of does. That's an interesting thought. Um This is a very weird case. I don't understand what's going on anymore. It's two of us. Alright, so about my clients. Hmm. Hold it! What is it, Mr. Wright? Press him the wrong way. Miser is suspicions on his end. Have to do something to waste more time. Um, witness. About requesting a hit. Can I can I get you to kill someone for me? Can I get you to curse a judge? <laughs> Don't tell him. <laughs> yes. How much is your fee? <laughs> I see you are a quiet, dark-hearted man, Mr. Attorney. Huh? If you would like to talk business, we can do so after the trial. Ack! No, 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 no! I'm not thinking of hiring. M m Mr. Wright! Y yes? Y y you You want to- <laughs> The judge just assumes it's him too, that's great! I you! You want to kill me? You want me dead? Don't you? Yeah, the judge was like someone from Paranoia. Neither. Guilty, Mr. <laughs> Phoenix Wright. You're hereby declared guilty. <laughs> oh, right. That got it up, man. That sure did. Witness, let's continue. <laughs> Just us two. The other two guys. <laughs> Why yeah. did you disclose your the name of your client? They are your client, are they not? <laughs> Man. Oh, the judge. Hold it! <laughs> I'll admit that was really good. I would think that most people wouldn't be able to overlook a person hiring another to kill. If I had a problem with such a thing, I wouldn't be very effective at my job. Ah. Yeah, well, a change in occupation might be good for you. However, I will say this. Even though I'm the one that does the deed, my clients are always a real guilty party. 
It goes without saying, Mr. The Killer. Wait, does that mean Mr. The Killer that we just let go? I don't know. Because that's what Fred Edwards, Edwards, who is a lab <laughs> professional, has told him that he's not actually good. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure in the eyes of the law, they're both guilty. You can't just <laughs> help someone commit murder and not also be a murderer. <laughs> okay, Edwards is weird. And the fate is to live with the knowledge of the good on their shoulders. However, my client this time thought that they could run away from the good. Alright. Hold it! Are you talking about the button and the knife? I guess you're calling that. It sounds like a book or something. <laughs> button and knife. It does sound pretty weird, yeah. Yes, yeah, so my business card. Oh, this card. So that no one has to waste their time, including the police. I was make it to a point to make things as easy as possible. See, I told you he's a good guy. Try to make things easy. A business card makes it very easy to identify who carried out the service. He's pretty devoted to his work. But to disregard everything, to go and stab the deceased with a knife, and even hide my card from sight, that is something I cannot overlook. Hmm. It's really hard to tell if he's being truthful or not without him being here. Yeah, that's, I think that's why they don't normally have these interviews like this. Yeah. They actually do. Hmm? I think not in a murder case, but I know that they sometimes do them over like phone. Yeah. They, there, there probably are, um, yeah, but I, I, yeah, they normally don't have person not like that, because I agree, um, Obviously, facial expressions and stuff are pretty relevant. What's the point in a game if everyone explodes all the time? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Hold it! So you're saying most clients wouldn't do such a thing? That is correct. Usually, most people try to create an alibi for themselves. If you could use my service, if you should use my services, Mr. Attorney, I would suggest you plan for your alibi too. Uh, no. I already told you. I have no intention of ever using your services. That she's not happy. <laughs> he just stares down. Why does he keep looking at me like I'm the one on trial here? Because he thinks you're gonna kill him, obviously. Hold it! Very paranoid, Judge. From the very beginning? <clears throat> that is correct. From... Before my client visited the room, all of my clients know precisely what civilization is at all times. I wonder if that's really true. That's on. Thanks for cooling us in about what's odd, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> that's odd. <laughs> not, not, not like the tequila can hear that and everyone else in the room because I'm on the other side of the room. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. Hold it! Guess we're gonna have to go back to whatever was on later. So why do you think your client did that? What do you mean by why? Well, fiddling around at the scene of the crime is pretty risky. And why would someone who has requested a murder go to the crime scene anyway? Hmm, that is true. I assume it was probably done to frame Mr. Engard. If that's the case, then why didn't the person just request that you do it? Sadly, that is not possible. Huh? My job is to kill, that is all. And to leave my business card behind, naturally. Business card has so much lines, may escape blame. To protect them is my duty. Hmm. You have to say it's for revenge, setting someone else up to take your fall. I think the what, thing did that... Did I read that Sly completely wrong, or what did I... I don't know. It's written weirdly, but I guess the biggest conflicting thing here is, honestly, if it was Miss Andrews, she would have had them both murdered. There's no reason Unless to just... Unless she can't afford it. 
Well, okay, yeah, I guess you could go with that. <laughs> well, she wanted to destroy him publicly. Like, I think that part makes sense. It's just that it's almost actually kind of sad that it isn't with Anders because this plan would otherwise be pretty good. Yeah, this... <laughs> I think that's the biggest issue with this case is everything would make probably perfect sense if it was Andrew's. But because of this twist, most of the case feels disjointed and not making sense. And that's all you have to testify? Yes, and I pray that I would never be called to the stand again. Again? As in you plan to continue? I must, as I have yet to find a person to take my place and become the fourth successor. Actually, how would you like to a new life, Mr. Tim? Yes! Why, take it! Take why, it! Why does this guy like us so much? He's taken our assistant hostage and he's just like, You know, I Maybe. really like this guy in a blue suit with spiky hair. I bet he could kill people. Maybe we were pretty inspiring how far we got. Like, we would be an amazing killer because we know what to look for. It's like we're gonna turn into that... Into Dexter, only that doesn't suck as much. <laughs> yeah. That would be an interesting twist. I hope there's I hope there's a fan fiction about this where like Phoenix Wright <laughs> accepts this job and becomes the killer. Excuse me? Ah no no no. I'm fine, really. That's what that's spoken like a true assassin. <laughs> Are you really now? What kind of man the judge thinks I am now. What are you going to do now, Phoenix? Accept the job. <laughs> I mean, accept the job. I like you should take it, man. It pays well. Yeah, exactly. Better than my currently paying nothing job. I'm going to take it later, fuckers. It's true. However, you realize that this will be very bad for our client, right? I'm so confused. The thing I know for sure is I can't let this trial end yet. Okay, I think yeah, it was before. this one? Uh, before. Oh, it was before? Before. I don't know, actually. I, I saw the place where he said that they know everything. It's the one where you would present the camera. Oh. Already knew that Juan Credo was dead. Yeah, that one, the one before. Oh, this one? Yeah. I would say present the camera here. But you should say before. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I want to see first. How do you Gertie by fucking up here? <laughs> yeah, let's. Wait. This evidence clearly reveals the contradiction of that statement. Because my cookie proves everything. Oh no, I took health damage and died. That's enough! This court sees no reason to further prolong the trial, nor is there any reason for more time to decide the case against the defendant. The case is extremely clear. I see no room for misinterpretation of the facts. <laughs> this is gonna be, Not it's, gonna be right? it's gonna be guilty, I almost guarantee. Finds the defendant, Matt Engard, guilty! <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, that would have made sense if they had said not guilty, right? Yeah, it would have made a lot more sense if they had have said not guilty. <laughs> At this point, it's just like, we could literally just do absolutely nothing, and somehow our client would still end up guilty because logic. <laughs> but, just, just, what the hell? <laughs> Now I'm disappointed. It really should have said Adkirti okay, because that would have been nice. This is just silly. Yeah, this, this is really silly. I understand that disappointment. I find it funny, but it, it really, I mean, it is a logic flaw. <laughs> Alright, so after that glaring and odd contradiction, we have one for all of you here that makes sense. OBJECTION! Thank you so much for taking the time to testify, Mr. DeKiller. What is the meaning of that attitude? When Adrian Andrews entered the victim's room, your client had no idea that Juan Creta had been murdered. But how do you know that? From this wine glass, your honor, 
The glass. Mr. DeKiller's supposed client thought Mr. Krita had only fainted, which is why this glass of tomato juice was poured for the victim. And honestly, if, it a... if she is a mastermind who hired a killer to kill him and then frame him, right? Why wouldn't she still do that, even if she knew he was dead? Like this was part of her like excuse all along. <laughs> Well, because if she was smarter, she would have tried to make it look like- If she already knew she was dead, she would have done a better job at making it look like she wasn't at the scene of the crime and wouldn't have done that. Probably. I know, but it was so hard, like, maybe like, you could argue that she had been playing for two at this point the whole time. Yeah. I suppose- Like, this was all set out to frame- like, like, I don't know, this one just doesn't really prove anything. It just yeah. proves that she is sloppy at best. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's a possibility. Hmm, but isn't that just a part of See? the Andrew? Oh, yeah. That is not possible, Your Honor. This glass bears the fingerprints of that person. Had this been planned, they would have never left their fingerprints behind. But maybe she's a stop. Your point, Mr. Edgeworth. Is what is your opinion? Strangely enough. I had the same exact saw just now, but just... I wouldn't have voiced it. <laughs> exactly. Witness, how do you explain this strange phenomenon? Isn't it a waste of time to ask about such my minor detail? It's not a very important point anyway, correct? <laughs> Look at me waving my finger, which you can't see. <laughs> I'm afraid you're mistaken. Fabian Andrews really is your client, as you claim. The new client should have had knowledge of Mr. Kavita's death. If not, then that can only mean that Adrian Andrews was never your client at all. How oh, strange. Yes? Why is it that the attorney has yet to raise an objection at this absurd situation? Phoenix! The killer figures out what we're up to. We're in real trouble. How yeah. did he figure it out yet? He's being handled by the police across the fucking state. Like, this guy know. is almost a devious motherfucker if he hasn't figured it out. He's pretty stupid. Uh, objection. Objection. Mr. Edgeworth, I'm surprised. You know you can't say things like that without any evidence, even though I just God, pointed just... out. You just sound weird now. Yeah, I know. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's like these guys are like acting in first way or something. I don't know. Uh, well, that sounded like an awfully weak objection to me. Anyway, I'm positive there was a contradiction in the testimony. The prosecution requests further testimony concerning when the request was taken. Would you, you know, this would sound a lot less weird if you would actually do something, Edgeworth, instead of, you know, making us cross-examine the witness. Very well. I know that would take away a lot of the gameplay, but I think that's something... Actually, yeah, you know something that would make this part of the game work better is if we were playing as Edgeworth. Or if there was a reason that Phoenix Wright had to be the one to bring these points up, because... Thing is, I should have looked cool. I mean, they're the same character anyway in a different kind of suit. <laughs> Basically, but you see my point, right? Because if Edgeworth were pointing these out, it wouldn't sound so dumb. Because Phoenix pointing them out makes it obvious what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. Right now I have to buy us more time. While we wait for the items the killer left behind to get here, I just know that the very outcome of this trial lies with those items. Okay, I'm sorry, but mm -hmm. we are like, banking a lot on these <laughs> items, but for all we know that every Gumshoe's still laying on the road, so I'm <laughs> bleeding the fuck out because we didn't tell anyone. How exactly. exactly do we expect these items to ever get here in the first I, place? I'm not sure how we expect the items to get here, and we don't even know what the items are. I understand we're banking on a chance, but Phoenix doesn't make it sound like a chance. He's like, I know it. These items will miss it. <laughs> these elements of harmony will help me destroy the evil killer. I don't know. This yeah. request came to me, uh, about a week ago. 
as a request for my services on the night of the award ceremony. I met at a certain bar to discuss and finalize a few matters. That is what occurred. I trust my memory and I believe I've made no mistakes. Well, you made a lot of mistakes. That was very but... bl vague. Yeah. Hmm. So you physically met your client, huh? That is correct. Meeting someone client is the first step to building trust, in my opinion. I see. Well, Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. Uh, so should we end here? Sure. Okay. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all next time.